Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Now, in our last lecture, what we did is we translated word statements into math. In this lecture, we're going to go in reverse. We're going to translate math into word statements. And of course, before we get started, we got to bring out our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. So, in this lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to translate math into word statements. That's right. Okay, so let's go to our first problem right there, Charlie. Okay. Now, remember, we're doing sums and differences. So, go ahead and tell me, Charlie, is this a sum or a difference? The sum. It is the sum. It's the sum of what? Three and eight. Three and eight. Very nice. And that's it. Let's do another one. Okay, Charlie. Now, what's this one? Be careful. Is this a sum or a difference? Difference. It's a difference. That's right. Now, it's the difference between what two numbers, Charlie? Three and negative two? And no, it's not negative three and a negative two. It's a negative three and a positive two. And a lot of people make this mistake, okay? So be careful, Charlie. Watch. It is a difference. And the difference is between a negative three and two. Okay? So be careful with that one. Now, let's do another one. This one will do a difference with two negative numbers. Here we go, Charlie. I mean, a sum. I'm sorry. We're going to do a sum here. Now, Charlie, this is a sum, so I'll help you out on that. Now, this is the sum of what two numbers, Charlie? Negative 3 and negative 8. Negative 3 and a negative 8. So there you go. So be careful. Remember, first thing you do is to find your operation. Is it a sum or a difference? And then you find your numbers. So here we go, Charlie. Let's do another one right here. This is what, Charlie? Sum. Okay, it's the sum of what? Negative 2 and 8. That's right. Now, equals, what is equals? What's the word statement for equals? Is. That's right. And is what? Six. Six. That's right. So this is the sum of negative two and eight, which is six. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's do another one. Here we go. Now, this one, Charlie, what do we have? The difference. The difference. That's right. The difference of what two numbers? Negative three and two. Negative three and two. You got that one right. All right. Then bring us home, Charlie. Is. Negative five. Very nice there, Charlie. The difference of negative three and two is negative five. And that's true. All right, Charlie, here we go. Now, don't get scared. This has variables in it. But first of all, is it a sum or a difference? Sum. It is a sum. Now, it's a sum of what? X and Y. X and a Y. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, bring us home. Is five. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, is this a sum or a difference? It's a difference. It's the difference. That's right. Difference of what? A and 2. That's right. Now, bring this home. Is negative 1. Very nice there. Tell me. The difference of A and 2 is negative 1. That's it. Let's do a couple more here. Don't get scared. There's three variables here, but don't get scared. Now, is this a sum or a difference, Charlie? Difference. It is the difference. It's the difference of three different variables, right? Now, it's the difference of what, Charlie? X, Y, and Z. That's right. Now, bring us home. Is five. A very nice there, Charlie. So, that is the difference of X, Y, and Z is five. Very nice. Okay, let's do one more here. Now, don't get scared. Is this a sum or a difference, Charlie? Difference. It's a difference. Difference between what? Seven, two, and three. That's right, seven, two, and three. Now, bring us home is two. Very nice there, Charlie. So, there we go. That's our little lecture on translating math to word statements. Now, be sure uh, you make sure you know how to do your arithmetic on that last one, because we'll be talking more about that. Seven subtract two is five, subtract three is two. That statement is correct. So, anyway, if you're having problems with subtraction, go back to the subtraction videos. Anyway, let's go. we got a lot, of, lot more work to do, so do your homework, and we'll see you again soon.